hit a little bit of a rough patch as she missed all of last season with an injury, so getting back into things. Diop comes up with it, off the miss by Penna. It's Diop going right at Penna. She steps through and gets the foul. Thought it might have been a travel call, but nifty footwork. Whitney with it to Walsh. A lot of perimeter passing continuing. Diop's going to have to make a move. She does. Now looking outside. An open three for Walsh. And there it is. The first field goal for the Panthers in this quarter. Why Bradley's been everywhere today for the Pitt Panthers. She's provided the energy for the most of the game. Pass into Walters with the left hand, and it's good. And that's what Calista Walters does so well. Eight on the shot clock for Stevenson with Diop on her. She spins, gets into the lane, has it deflected, batted around down low. It's a volleyball game, and it's finished off by Bradley. Whitney pushing. Stepping into it is Diop, and it's good. Big shot for Diop. Give her 20 tonight. Wake Forest has come all the way back. Panthers' largest lead was nine points at the end of the first quarter. Walsh passes to Bradley, a good pass in transition. Panthers snatch the lead back. Wake resets with four on the shot clock. Conti has it knocked away, tries to pass down low. It's still loose and taken by Whitney. Here's Walsh out in front of everyone, and there it is. Seven point lead for Wake Forest. It's their largest of the game. Walters, a good dish to Diop. Panthers need it, and they get it. Panthers deep in the shot clock yet again. Two on it. Diop tries again and gets it. You've seen Diop pushing the Panthers. 26 points.